Over in Dictionary Corner, it's Greg Davis. Hello. <laughs> Uh, six foot eight, Greg Davis was born in Wales. He's the biggest thing to come out of Wales. That's it, he's the biggest thing to come out of Wales. <laughs> in his spare time, Greg enjoys listening to music, going to the theatre, and attacking the city of Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, you recently holidayed in Las Vegas. Do you have a good time? Do you enjoy it? No, I thought it was an awful place. I think it should be race to the grand tarmac to turn it into a massive car park. It's awful. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm going there next week. I mean, this <laughs> conversation could not be going worse for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's well, you, you're going to Vegas? Shit, yeah! <laughs> what, are you do what are you going to Vegas for? To clean up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of anyone I've ever met who's less suited to Vegas. <laughs> Imagine if I never came back, though. <laughs> I could definitely imagine you getting murdered, but not living there. <laughs> you put it out on red. <laughs> Yes, that kind of casual racism might get you murdered. <laughs> uh, Greg? I was going to have... I wanted to say Barry, cos I quite like the idea of being a bit... But, um... <laughs> uh, Parky. Parky? Yeah! How are you spelling it? I'm, I'm spelling it the way that you would spell it. Go on, then. Did you say five or a six? Five. Oh, that's a shame. Six? <laughs> <laughs> so... It isn't Parky, isn't it? I.E. I.E. How is it I.E.? Fuck this game! <laughs> <laughs> OK, time to go across once again to Dictionary Corner. Greg, what have you got for us? When I was an educator, uh, as I was for many years, um, I was fortunate enough uh, that there was a guest speaker at the school that I taught at, and it was the ex-champion uh, boxer Chris Eubank. <laughs> <laughs> Um, he very kindly came in for nothing to inspire the children, um, and he did a three-and-a-half-hour lecture to them. <laughs> uh, that it was unusual, uh, and it consisted of him telling some loose anecdotes, um, but he interspersed them with very aggressive poems <laughs> that he made up himself, which he... <laughs> which he shouted into the children's faces. <laughs> um, and, it, you know, it was, it was really inspiring. Anyway... I realised afterwards, I didn't think I could do impressions, I've never been able to do impressions, that I can do an incredible impression of Chris Eubank. And because he inspired me that day, I've realised that classic works of literature sound better through Eubank's voice. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a wonderful treat for us all. I thought I'd present some to you. And before I do, I would tell you that my agent and every member of production I've spoken to on this show has made it very clear they think this is a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> that's coming after jumping on people. <laughs> I, so, I have to. I take a while. I, have to, I take a while to get Chris's voice. So bear with me. I have to. <laughs> it was the best of times. <laughs> Please. It was the best of times. <laughs> it was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. <laughs> it was the age of foolishness. Thank you very much. I mean, the sad thing is, it's actually a very good Nelson Mandela. <laughs> Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? <laughs> Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds just. <laughs> You sound like one of the compare the meerkats. <laughs> <laughs> if Chris Eubank was here, he wouldn't be offended. <laughs> that's how bad it is. <laughs> say, uh, you know what, Greg? Say pugilist a few times. That's that, that's, that gets me in right. That's his key word. I wasn't a fighter, I was a pugilist. <laughs> are you talking to me? You, who, then, who the hell are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a villain in Danger Mouse. That's what you said. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. I'm thinking. <laughs> it's all fucking out, Sean. <laughs> it's one of the worst impressions ever. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Did he fire six shots or five? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a trophy? <laughs> no, there's 
excitement, I kind of lost track myself. <laughs> You've got to ask yourself one question. <laughs> Do you feel lucky? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think? <laughs> My name is Maximus. I think I've made my point, Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I found that very moving, actually. <laughs> Crying quite a bit. <laughs> Gen genuinely one of the worst impressions, I think. <laughs> I mean, it's OK to say as well, when we go to Judiciary Corner, it's OK to say, I don't have a talent, so just move on. <laughs> <laughs> if they were my fault, I'd have they whipped for being all before that time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, again. <laughs> I'm so sorry, it's so unprofessional. What you're doing is unprofessional. <laughs> <laughs> like that's professional. <laughs> you call that professional? <laughs> I mean, literally two hours ago, I was speaking to my agent and he went, I don't know, Greg, is it that good, your impression? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought I'd make a lovely countdown casserole. Slow cooked it. And it's basically... What is this, Bake Off? What was that? <laughs> and all the ingredients are letters of the alphabet. So in it, it's got apple, bovril, <laughs> coriander... And then I thought, mmm, Vimto. <laughs> <laughs> then a whelk, just one. Then I thought, why not an extra whelk? <laughs> <laughs> Yoghurt and... Just a little, a little, a little zest. A little zest of lemon. And here it is. It's and I'm going to have a whelk on top. Do you have a tuna whelk? Oh, goodness, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a whelk before, in all honesty. Well, I've it's... got about 30 there. I'd, I'd pay £10 for a charity of your choice if you ate all of them in a row. <laughs> £10? <laughs> <laughs> What's your magic number to eat all the whelks? <laughs> you have £10,000, Jimmy. <laughs> That's that's just to see the look on your face. Checking with the gallery what whether we can... What does the banker say? Huh? What does the banker say? Oh, def definitely yes. Yeah. Go on. What? Yeah, do it. <laughs> 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 you sure? <laughs> well, while the show goes on. What, what? Well, they're quite chewy. Yeah. <laughs> I can't speak for everyone, but I'm happy to sit it out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you are. Did you taste the stew? What did you think of the stew? I thought it was quite nice, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, oh. it, was, it was a lot nicer than a hundred whelks. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the, the aftermath. <laughs> We're sharing a room. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You were recently trolled on Twitter, I believe, by by a certain Susie Dent. Yeah. Over your misuse of grammar. Tell, <laughs> tell us what happened. Basically, I was tweeting. Don't want to show off, but I've been doing it. <laughs> and I tweeted something, and then everyone, you know, when all the idiots start chipping in because you spelt something slightly wrong or it's mm. a different turn of phrase, and then Susie had a go as well. <laughs> but the thing is, Twitter is. I, think, I think we've got them here. I'll do it in your voice. All All right. Right. Come on here for a bit of light art. <laughs> bit of light hearted weather and film based bants. All of a sudden, everyone's on me case. Bring back Bebo. <laughs> <laughs> what did Susie come back with? You came back with. Um... I needed a hyphen between light and hearted. <laughs> <laughs> is that true though? Do I need a hyphen? Yeah. Why? <laughs> the problem is, I just say light hearted. How do you say hyphen? How do you say the hyphen bit? You don't. What's the point? <laughs> Why is there a hyphen needed for that? Cos Susie says there exactly, is. Exactly. Yeah, I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, I've sat here quiet... <laughs> <laughs> Never question Dent's authority when I'm on this team. That's the yeah. first thing. Yeah. Any more jokes about Dictionary Corner being boring, someone's going to get fucking hurt. <laughs> Some famous sort of speeches for you. Could you give us a little bit more of the Chris Eubanks? Because it's it's pretty extraordinary. Are you joking? Got... I was born to do it. <laughs> okay, Holly, could you pass those over to? <clears throat> it got... is an incredible. It's an incredible voice. It's bliss. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
We shall fight them on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> we shall fight them on the beach, yes. <laughs> we, shall... <laughs> we shall fight them on the landing ground. <laughs> we shall never surrender. It's good, but I feel there's more. <laughs> now it's the winter of our discontent. <laughs> My glorious summer by this son of York. <laughs> Why are you making me do this again? <laughs> I really like it. It does, it does sound brilliant, but you're not, you're not the only person that does a brilliant Chris Eubank. I've got someone here who does the voice, I mean, pretty bloody well. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chris Eubank. <laughs> oh, <fuck off. laughs> Thank you very much. No, uh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> it is indeed the greatest form of theatre. I'm so frightened. <laughs> I'm so, so frightened. <laughs> Chris, what do you think of the impression? Um, it's, it's wonderful. <laughs> the fact that he cannot hold a straight face, it means it's, it's fantastic. It, it works. Is. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. I bet if we covered Sean's eyes, and Chris and I both... <laughs> I have something. I have something for you. <laughs> so this is the challenge. I have a tongue twister for you, gentlemen. You could pass that down. That's a tongue twister for, for both Chris Eubanks. <laughs> and Sean is going to cover his eyes and try and establish which one is reading. OK. First, he killed the Misha Mokwa. Greatest uh, bear of all the mountains. From the skin. <laughs> Okay, so the other guy has a go. From the skin. He made metal. Made them with the fur side inside. Made them with the skin side outside. To get the warm side inside, <laughs> he put the inside side outside. <laughs> Why? He put the skin side outside. Why? He turned them inside, inside out. Outside. outside. <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> Who was that? Yeah. That was Chris. And then Greg, sort of, every now and again. <laughs> and... And who else? Vic. Maybe you're not quite as good at guessing who Chris Eubank is as you think you are. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Eubank, everyone. <laughs> Incidentally, can I just say to all the uh, people involved in the production, you pricks. <laughs> I shot myself. <laughs> Since taking up acting, Greg has put his day job as a teacher behind him and shown off the incredibly diverse range of characters he can play. <laughs> <laughs> Whether it's head of sixth form in the Inbetweeners or a member of the drama faculty in Man Down, he can do it all. 